Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. This week's tutorial is about adding a load more button to the Divi blog module. That's right, you can add a button below the Divi blog and when you click it, more posts will load right there on the page. So I have a feeling this is going to be a popular tutorial. Let me show you how we achieve this. All right, so I will be following along the tutorial, the written tutorial, which is linked in the description. Now, step number one is to add the blog module and add a CSS class to that blog module. So over on my demo site, I'm going to just go ahead and add a blog module. All right, and then we are going to be adding a CSS class here in the advanced tab. In fact, I am going to go ahead and change this layout to grid. We need to do that. We also need to turn off in elements, turn off show pagination, because that's just going to conflict. It's not compatible. Let's see, back to my actual tutorial. So we're adding the CSS class. We can go ahead and copy this, PA blog load more. Okay, and you can see the screenshot where we're adding it. In the advanced tab, CSS ID and classes, right there, CSS class. All right. Let's go back here so I don't miss anything. It looks like I got it. Make sure pagination is off. That's what I just showed you under elements, show pagination. Okay, so we're good as far as the blog. Next, we need a button. You know, we actually need to have something to click on to load more. So we're adding a button, and here you can see, add a button module below the blog module. And I'm gonna go ahead and look at this step. Add a custom CSS ID to the button module. And that's going to be PA load more like that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that over here. Add a button. Great. In fact, I might just center it for the sake of the tutorial. I don't know. Over here in the advanced tab again. Now this one's an ID. So the, the button has a CSS ID, right? PA underscore load underscore more. Okay. So there you can see it. That's in the button. Now we've added the blog with the class and the button with the ID. All right, now the next step and the, you know, the biggest step here is adding the jQuery that's doing all the work here. So adding jQuery, if you're not familiar, you can take a look at some of the instructions here where you can add it in Divi. I'm going to add it to a code module on the page since I'll be working uh, directly on my demo page, but um, you could add it in your child theme or in Divi theme options. So I'm gonna copy this code here all right, so like I said, I'll add a code module. So down here below the button, I guess it doesn't really matter where, but I'm going to add it here and then I'll just paste the code. All right, pretty cool. That's it. Um, now it's going to work. Now in the code, I, I have a little bit of explanation here at the bottom. There's going to be an initial show article and article reveal. You can kind of get the sense of what those are about, how many show by default when the page loads, how many posts are there, and then how many show when you click the button. Here's the interesting part. We made it different for mobile and desktop because, you know, on mobile you may have, that's, I mean, I don't know, let's say you had like six posts and then you showed six more. Well, on mobile that would probably be too many. Um, just so we made it different. Um, the number you can see is right here and we have it commented for mobile screens. It says show article three. So that's how many on mobile screens are going to be showing by default. And then when you click it, article reveal, there's going to be two more that appear. And you can change these numbers. Now for desktop, it's a little different. Um, here it goes by rows. So a row is you know these three across, because that's the default. So if I say show initial row one, which is that you could change that again. Then show reveal is on two. Let's go ahead and demo this. So obviously I'm on desktop here and you can see that there were more showing before. The number in the module is irrelevant. It's not, not used for this. Um, so we were setting the, mod, uh, the number in the jQuery. So watch what happens, there's three here. Now, according to the code that I added um, right here, there's one that's correct two rows should add. So let's see if that works. All right, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. All right, um, we could check on mobile, which is going to be a little more tricky. I'll have to refresh. 
So I have one, two, three, click, and two more show, click, and two, two more show, click. Oh, and I forgot to mention, at the end, when there's no more, the button hides. So that's a little trick we've added also. I, and again, I, I forgot to say that earlier, but that's, I felt that was important because, you know, if you're clicking and um, you get to the bottom, it would be like, wait, what's happening? So now you know there's no more there. And that's it. That's the tutorial. Tell me what you think of this. Um, I think it's pretty cool. I'm excited about it. Be sure to share this. Give me a thumbs up. Comment if you like this. We do tutorials like this every single week. Um, we've been doing them for years, so there's literally hundreds of them now. So if you subscribe, this is the kind of content you'll get. So I look forward to having you, and we'll see you all in the next video.